chat kit cats oh my goodness i spaced out totally it was sunday so got there really late for the meditation but we did a um an experiment today uh because i've told them before you know it doesn't matter if i'm sitting there with my eyes closed or open or doing something it's the same thing for me um so we did the uh experiment today and they they got the same transmission as they do if I'm not sitting there with my eyes closed for meditation. Because when you get to realization, the mind stills. When the mind stills, it's the same as being in meditation all the time, no matter what you're doing, you know. Um, so they got to uh, experience that today. Now, while they were meditating, I did a reading on Anne Boleyn. Okay, and I'm just going to give you the, the highlights of uh, what it came out to be. Um, Anne Boleyn was after, she was enchanted and uh, about and, and under the illusion of power. She wanted power. She wanted to be, you know, and that was her heart's desire. That's what she had singular focus on. It was... The, the hermit, singular focus. She was searching for that. <clears throat> okay. And so, um, you know, she got a wake-up call when she's in the tower waiting to be beheaded that, uh, you know, she should have gone after the challenge was finding love um, rather than seeking because above it was the magician wanting to manipulate, wanting to control, wanting to be in power. And so the challenge is to find uh, love, to find that heart-centered. So, you know, of course, when she left the form, she was looking at the energy and the burdens she carried in life uh, because she wanted power. And she was seduced by that, seduced by the uh, idea of being a person, a woman of power, okay? And the uh, in the end, she said the thing that wins <laughs> is in the transitory world is things are transient, okay? That's going to win. If it, that wins hands down, that, that, that uh, everything here is transient. So, you know, don't get caught up in powers and those things uh, go for the things of the heart. Um, so that was interesting. But she said, yeah, she started getting a clue when she was in the tower. <laughs> then, then the light sort of dawns, you know, that uh, maybe chasing power was not the ultimate thing because it was very short-lived in her life. Uh, so that was her lesson. The lesson was don't try to be the want a magician wanting to have power and be able to control. Okay. Um, better to look for love to come from love and compassion rather than wanting power and manipulation. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, I'm looking forward to also doing uh, Henry VIII and see what comes through on him. Now, he was uh, a choice. You, you would think that Anne Boleyn would have gotten, you know, if he's manipulating all this stuff to get rid of his wife for her, that maybe she should have been a little mindful of that. But no, she was seduced by power and you know he's gonna love me forever and she's got these fantasies about the family the royal family okay <laughs> came up with the ten you know ten of pentacles for the family on the hill the the castle on the hill <laughs> she had all that fantasy going okay <laughs> And then found out, and, and doing the reading was hard because I could feel that, you know, <clears throat> that uh, cutting of.